Welcome to our channel, to another mind-blowing video. Most people have met at least one miser in their lifetime. You know the type, no matter how rich they may be, they hoard their money and spend as little of it as possible, delighting in their savings. Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol is perhaps the most famous miser. Some other famous Scrooges came from relatively modest means, like old Ebenezer, but the vast majority of them were insanely wealthy and wanted to stay that way. Some famous misers blackmailed their friends for free meals, ate rotten garbage, scammed free clinics, and even forced their house guests to use pay phones that they installed in their mansions, anything they could do to not spend one cent more than absolutely necessary. Here are top 11 of famous misers and how they lived. Number 11. Ingvar Kamprad. Born in 1926, Kamprad is the Swedish billionaire founder of IKEA. The founder of one of the world's most popular cheap furniture stores is about as cheap as a billy bookcase. He only wears clothes he finds at flea markets, recycles tea bags, pockets salt and pepper packets, buys Christmas wrapping paper and presents in post-holiday sales, and tries to only get his hair cut at an extreme discount when visiting developing countries. Seriously, Vietnam is a favorite. Number 10. Harold's in Lafayette Hunt. He is born in 1889, Hunt was a billionaire Texas oil tycoon. Despite having more money than God, Hunt still pinched pennies by cutting his own hair, driving himself to work in an old car, bringing his lunch to work, and parking down the street from his office so he didn't have to pay the 50-cent parking fee. Worst of all, he was also known as a crappy tipper. Hunt was also the inspiration for the character J.R. Ewing on the television show Dallas. Number 9. James Wood. Born in 1756, Wood was a wealthy banker and famous miser, known as the Gloucester Miser. It's hard to say how many of the stories about Jemmy were actually true because the man was an absolute legend. Allegedly, he would walk around the docks waiting for ships carrying coal to come and so he could snatch pieces that fell to the ground. Like many misers, Wood wore ragged clothes and didn't like paying for transportation. One famous story claims that he once hitched a long-distance ride with a hearse, riding where the body would normally go. Number 8. John Camden Neild. He was born in 1780, Englishman Neild was a landlord and notorious miser famous for leaving all of his property to Queen Victoria. He inherited his father's fortune and basically spent the last 30 years of his life being a cranky miser about it. He kept his massive house sparsely furnished, including going without a bed for a stretch, just to save on expenses. Neil wouldn't spring for an overcoat, and the clothes he did have were in constant disrepair. He had tenants on his vast estates in Buckinghamshire, but refused to repair their homes when needed. John even neglected a church on one of his properties, choosing to stuff the cracks with cotton rather than have them properly repaired. Number 7. Wellington R. Burt. Born in 1831, Burt was an American lumber baron that was one of the wealthiest men in the country in the early 1900s. He wasn't particularly miserly in his day-to-day -day life, but he did famously include a spite clause in his will that kept all of his children and grandchildren from inheriting his $100 million fortune. The clause stipulated that no money would be doled out until 21 years after his last grandchild died. This ultimately meant that only 12 of his many descendants ever received the bulk of his money as he intended, and they didn't get it until 2011, 92 years after he died. Why did Bert withhold his fortune? No one knows for sure, but family feuds are said to be the likeliest cause. Number 6. Henny Green. Born in 1834, she was an American businesswoman known as the Witch of Wall Street, who was likely the richest woman in the world when she died. A lot of tall tales have been told about Green's miserly ways, most famously that her son's leg had to amputated because she didn't want to pay the bill. But there are quite a few true stories of her extreme frugality. Despite being insanely wealthy, she did try to use free clinics under a false name. She also lived in cheap apartments and rooming houses to save money and was notorious for haggling with waiters. Number 5. J. Paul Getty. 
He was born in 1892. Getty was American billionaire oil man and famous collector of art and antiquities. He famously refused to pay a ransom to his grandson's kidnappers, even after they cut off the kid's ear and mailed it to a newspaper office. He eventually gave in and loaned his son the money to pay the ransom, but forced him to pay it back with interest. Getty later defended himself, saying that giving in to the initial demands would have placed his 14 other grandchildren at risk. A far more hilarious case of miserly behavior was the payphone he had installed in his London mansion so his guests wouldn't rack up his phone bill. Number 4. Daniel Ludwig. Born in 1897, Ludwig was a reclusive American billionaire shipping magnate. He was so reclusive that he was known as the invisible billionaire, but quite a few stories about his miserly ways emerged toward the end of his life. Most notoriously, he fired a tanker captain because he wasted a paper clip on a two-page letter. As an octogenarian, Ludwig walked to work instead of hiring a driver, wore the same plastic raincoat year after year, drove an aged car, and flew coach. Number 3. Daniel Dancer. Born in 1716, Dancer was an Englishman whose sole occupation was hoarding his wealth. He inherited his father's estate in 1736 at the age of 20 and basically just became a professional miser. The kid was good at it, too. Dancer made his sister his housekeeper, forcing her to cook partially decomposed animals he found in the wild. He never bathed or washed his clothes. He was an especially paranoid and cruel miser, to avoid the possibility of getting sued by his neighbors, he knocked his beloved pet dog's teeth out so it wouldn't eat their livestock. Number 2. John Elwes. He was born in 1714, Elwes was a member of parliament in Great Britain, and is widely considered to be an inspiration for the character of Ebenezer Scrooge in Dickens's A Christmas Carol. Thanks to an inheritance, he was fabulously wealthy, but acted like Ebenezer Scrooge. He went to bed at sundown to avoid buying candles. Because he dressed in filthy rags instead of buying new clothes, people confused him for a beggar and gave him coins in the street. Most disgustingly, Elwes ate food so maggot written it walked about his plate. Number 1. Thomas Cook. Born in 1726 Cook was known as the most contemptible miser who ever lived, and that's it. Seriously, this guy basically made being a miser into a career. His 1814 biography said his life was checkered with as few good actions as ever fell to the share of any person who lived to so advanced an age. Cook was a world-class bastard, he tricked his wife, a wealthy brewer's widow, into marrying him, and then ended up inadvertently starving her to death, because he was so stingy. As a widower, Cook ate for free by visiting his friends at dinner time and reminding them that his will was a work in progress. When he was sick or injured, he would dress himself in rags in hopes that the doctor would take pity on him. He basically didn't work a day in his life, but was still worth $700,000 when he died. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you would like to support us make sure to like the video and subscribe our channel so you will never miss another video. See you next time.